it is day 97, 8, no, di no, 7, 8, no, it's 98, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do this at the beginning of every video, I don't really understand why, I can't seem to remember. Anyways, okay, let's start off. I had a good day today, it was my day off, and got some errands done. Workout this morning was intense. My legs and knees and calves and shins and honestly everything else. I'm very sore right now. I, it, it's hurting. I'm curious to see what it's going to be like when I wake up in the morning. Um, it was private with Shayla, but Quentin had a private cancel. So he kind of took over a little bit for about 30 minutes. And uh, we all know how that goes. <laughs> He saw that I was having my blah face, and they don't like it when I have my blah face. And it's not, I, I don't know, sometimes just, when I'm working out, I gotta, I've gotta like go to a, like a different place, and I can't really think about it, and so I kind of just get this like blah face, and I'm not really moving fast, and they don't think I'm happy. And it's not that I'm not happy, I just, I am just thinking about, I want to be in bed, or sitting on a couch. I was in a mood this morning. I was. But we resolved that by putting on motivating music because I said, hey, you know what'll solve this? Put on some motivating music. And they were like, well, what does that mean? I was like, I don't know, some motivating music. And then one of the other girls up there said, well, what about some rap? So they put on some rap and that gave me a little kick in the booty and got me motivated. So I burnt my 800, but we did um, burpees, thrusters, box squats, lots of those, lots of push-ups, um, what else did we do? Oh, and before that I did a lot of cardio on the treadmill, so it was a powwow workout this morning. Um, and then I came home and did errands around my house and stuff. Um, let me think, what else happened today? That, other than that, that's it. Um, I'm trying to think about food. Oh, well, yeah, this morning, anyways, I, back to the workout. I was having a poopy morning because I got on the scale, and it was like, I was like up three pounds for some reason. Like, I, I looked at it like, what the heck happened? And, you know, I feel like swollen and bloated right now, and so I don't really understand what's going on. Um, I had a higher sodium meal yesterday, but I don't think it should be three pounds by any means, so... I'm a little frustrated and trying to figure out what it is. Um, you know, my clothes still are fitting the same, so I'm, I think it's just a lot of water retention and then the sodium, I guess, maybe all together. Uh, so I'm hoping in the morning it's better, but as I'm feeling right now, I don't think it will be, and so I'm going to be disappointed again tomorrow. But I can't look at it that way. i just got to get through it. Um, and I'm approaching my hundreds, so I'm hoping that I feel like things are more on track by the time the hundreds over with. Not that... I'm not on track right now. I just want to feel a little more secure um, with everything. And uh, so that's that. And then tonight we went over to um, the in-laws again. We had a little election party. And someone brought over brownies. They brought brownies. They did. I guess they didn't know about what was going on with me and my insanity right now. They brought brownies. And homemade ones at that. And they were on the counter and I walked in and it was like, it was like my eyes like brownies. They just went to that and I couldn't stop staring at them. I'm like, what is wrong with me? I am going crazy right now. And I had to just walk out. I just had to walk away. I couldn't look at them. And every time I went up like to get a drink or something, it's like my eyes wanted to wander. It was like, I want to, I want to look at the brownies. I'm like, why do I want to even do that to myself? Like, I don't even understand why. And obviously the PMS does not help right now because obviously I want my chocolate and then the fact that I've been craving a brownie ever since I started this thing is just so, yeah. But I made it through. Didn't have it. I didn't even taste it. Didn't even do like a little nibble, you know. Didn't even do that. So, made it through. But I'm looking forward to having my cheat meal. I try to convince them to give me a cheat day, you know. Just like blow it all out, you know. All the food that I've been craving, just, you know, like eat it on one day, get it over with. And I'll probably end up sick because I haven't had that food in forever. <laughs> so... And then I'll be done with it, you know, and then I'll just be back to back to starting over. So, but they said that's probably not a good idea because I'll gain about like three to five pounds in one day. And how I feel right now with the possible gaining three pounds, which I don't even know how I did that, 
thinking that I'm gonna do it. It just doesn't sound like a happy thing to me. So I think I'm just gonna have to slowly just have like a cheat meal like every two weeks. You know, do it simple. And with the holidays coming up, um, I gotta make it through. Gotta push through. Thanksgiving, I'm not worried about. Thanksgiving is an easy meal because a lot of the stuff you can actually eat really healthy. I mean, turkey's healthy. You can have a baked potato. Um, you know, the cranberry is not too bad. Um, you know, the green beans, the vegetables. So, not if you're having a green bean casserole, that's not good. But, I mean, if you kind of stay with the healthy stuff, it's not really a tempting holiday. Um, a, for me, it's the grazing. That's the that's the issue. Because, you know, they people put out, like, the cheese and the crackers and the, you know... Just all that kind of like dippy, dippy stuff, and that is the that's the harder one because it's you're thinking about you know it's kind of boredom too, and you know you're around people, and it's just kind of social eating, and you're just eating, and you're like, what did I just do? So that is going to be the challenge this year as far as getting through the holidays. Um, but as far as the cheat meals, I'm looking forward to mine because. It'll be 100 days, and actually more than, it'll be 110, because I technically started the 10 days, because she gave us, you know, before this all started, she has 10 days, so it'll be 110 days since I've had French fries, which actually I'm not craving, um, funny enough, like they kind of don't really sound good at all to me, I told you what sounds good, is the brownie, and pizza, I want some pizza, and I want some sushi, and Chinese food, that's what I want. So that's why I said I could just do one day and just get it all done, right? <laughs> I know, I sound insane right now. So I'm going to go to bed because I need some sleep. Um, staying up and watching the election thing just makes me go cross-eyed. So I will be going to bed, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.